hello! Today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruel VTuber that is going to try to have a year long no buy. And today <laughs> it's the first day in my new female on my channel. I don't know if this is going to be my new thing, I have no idea, but I just had a purple themed couple of weeks where I did purple looks. And this week I'm going to do something that I really do love. And if I show you these palettes, can you guess what it is? It is an YouTuber collab week theme. <laughs> YouTuber collab theme. So I have five palettes here that is collabs with different YouTubers. And actually <laughs> smaller YouTubers or not like I have a palette with Rob Beauty Krista. It's not that. So I have the Lethal is Dead between Lethal and Teresa is Dead. I have It's Freaking Bats between Shroud and Betty Bean. Then I have two collabs from Annette's Makeup Corner. That is Giant Wolves with Ona's Eye and Serenity with Menagerie. And the last one is of course the Club Nebula that is with Aniel Kanikvist and Kaleidos. So I'm going to use these palettes and do a look with each one of them and I hope that you will like it and I will actually start with the Lethal is Dead that is between Lethal and Teresa is Dead and this palette looks like this. So this is a nine pan palette and you can, you can't take the shadows out, there is no holes in the back. And these are inspired by like horror movies and I do really like this palette. I don't use it that much but I do like it and I thought it was so fun when they came out that they were doing a lab with Therese is dead <coughs> and that they named it lethal is dead. So I already know what kind of look I want to do so I think we just get started. I actually want to do a halo today, again, so I'm going to use this Vengeful Spirit, a ancient, a ancient Evil. I hate when I know how to pronounce the words, I know how they are supposed to sound, but I can't, I can't say it. And also straight to VHS. So yeah, I'm going to do a halo and I'm going to do the easy way. So I'm going to take the Vengeful Spirit all over my lid. Just because I don't... I don't want to make this hard for myself. Because you know I never know if I'm, I'm like in the right uh, mindset for doing a halo. So I'm going to start with this all over my lid and also going to take it up in uh, my crease. And I also have some other theme things planned and I hope that you will like this because I think it's so much easier when I have a like a theme. I do like themes for some reason, I don't know why, but I think it's easier to come up with looks and like I know which palettes I can choose from. And I just like to have it like that. This shade is so so nice. The strange thing when it comes to me and my lethal shades, I tend to use my singles more than my palettes, like the ones that I have bought the singles and not in palettes. And for me that is a little bit strange because single eyeshadows is not my typical thing. And I do apologize for my wretched nails, they look awful. I just haven't fixed them. And now when I'm back at work, it usually is like when I have 
taken the time to fix my nails. I'm going to do something at work that's destroyed them. So I just haven't got to like, because it takes a while to fix them. Maybe not like this design, this is fast, but sometimes I do nail art. And uh, yeah, it takes a while because it has to dry and everything. But maybe I will do it later tonight. I don't know. And I think I want to do a pretty wide ha wide halo today, actually. But I don't know, but I think so. So I will take my NYX Glitter Primer. Take it on my hand. Like this glitter primer, I, I love this. This is my second one. And I, it's one of my absolute favorite products in my collection. <laughs> and it's just a glitter primer. And okay, now I'm going to cut a halo from this. And I think, as I said, that I want to do it pretty wide. I think so. And then I'm going in with this ancient evil. And I guess that some of you have a really good way for me how to think when I'm pronouncing that word. Like I can hear it in my head, but it's like my head and my mouth doesn't talk to each other. Do you love how wide this halo is? Just going in with the bench at full spirit and uh, blend the edges. I don't know why I took such a big brush for this. And I think I want to do the thing that I apparently do like now. So I'm going to take a straight, straight to VHS. That is also a thing that feels so strange to say because in Sweden you say VHS. So in my mind it's called VHS and not VHS. And I'm going to take that with my pinky. Concentrate here in the middle. And I got a lot of fallouts. I think the halo is done like this. I think it was that easy. And I do like it. I don't know though if I want to tr try. Maybe. Because there is a little bit of a room with a vengeful spirit matte shade in my crease, but I think I actually want it like that. Maybe just tap this shimmer here. Okay, so I think that is my easy halo. I think that is all actually. So I will take away the fallout and <laughs> fix this eye of course, but is it fun? To you for you to watch me sit like this i don't think so so i will fix the other halo eye or the other eye my base and then i come back with the finished look and i'm going to try to take a lipstick from lethal yeah i think i will the finished look and for my face i did use ombra bus kill from melt and this Ionic, Ionic from Lethal. And for my lips, I did use Rapture from Lethal. I do love this red one. And I really, really like this look. I like the halo eye. I do like the matte shade. Maybe the lips isn't like a perfect match, but I just wanted a dark red. And yeah, I do like the look that came out of this. And I don't know why, but I, I do really like to do a halo and then take two shimmers. So I did just use three shades for this. I used this one straight to VHS, Ancient Evil. 
and vengeful spirit. And yeah. I guess that was all. I don't know what more to say. But I hope that you will like this. I will try to have all these videos up this week. I don't know if I'm going to manage to do that. I will not promise anything. Maybe it will take two weeks. But I hope that you like that I'm doing a YouTuber palettes week. And I'm just so much looking forward to this because I do really love these palettes. I think that this is the one that I've used the least for this collab palette, but I do like this as well. I do think it's a little bit... I don't know, I have a little bit hard time to come up with looks with this, but I do really like this look and I like the other looks I have done with it. So maybe I just need to play with it more to see what I want to do. But yeah. This is my finished look with the Lethal Stud and my first video of YouTuber collab palettes. So I do hope that you have liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!